Welcome to the introduction to poultry production. For the outline of this presentation, the first part will talk about the definition of poultry. The next will be about the introduction to poultry farming. We will also talk about a short history on the domestication of chickens. And we are also going to define some common terminologies that are used in poultry farming or poultry production. And we are also going to have a discussion on the types of chickens based on its purpose. So what is poultry? The word poultry applies to all domestic fowl raised for their eggs, their meat, or both. Poultry includes chickens, turkeys, ducks, geese, guinea fowl, pheasants, quail, and pigeons. Chickens are by far the most popular poultry raised today, and this course shall concentrate on chickens. Poultry farming is the raising of domesticated birds such as chickens, ducks, turkeys, and geese for the purpose of farming meat or eggs for food. Poultry are farmed in great numbers, with chickens being the most numerous. More than 50 billion chickens are raised annually as a source of food for both their meat and their eggs. For the history of the earliest recorded domestication of chickens, researchers claim to have found the earliest evidence for chicken domestication in an area around the Yellow River in, Ch in northern China. Researchers found the fossilized remains of domesticated chickens found in northern China and they concluded that these are closely related to the red jungle fowl which is thought to have roamed the area at that time. The red jungle fowl or Gallus gallus is the ancestor of the domestic fowl. The rooster has a shining silky plumage, red on the head and back and green and black elsewhere, a pattern that is seen also in several domestic breeds. The hen is rusty brown with speckled neck and minimal comb. The researchers analyzed the fossilized chicken bones that is uh, illustrated here on the top right from four locations around North and East China with the oldest being found at the Nanzhuang Tu archaeological site near the Yellow River. While Maresha in Israel may have been the first to eat chicken, China was the first to domesticate the bird. Domestic chicken sold in supermarkets today still contain same genetic elements in the mitochondrial DNA as the birds that were domesticated in northern China more than 10,000 years ago. Since that time, chickens have been kept for meat and eggs by nearly every human group throughout the world. Over the years, the original chicken has been bred by selection and circumstance into many varieties. Until recently, almost all chickens were raised in small flocks and left to look after themselves. In many areas of the world, chickens are raised a few at a time for occasional eggs or feast. Some people grow chickens exclusively for cockfighting or religious rituals. Some types of chickens with beautiful plumage are raised just for show. In the past half century, the growing need for protein to feed the world's rapidly expanding population has caused farmers and scientists to pay more attention to chickens as food sources and increase the efficiency with which they are raised. Genetic research has developed many different breeds and varieties adapted to different climates, farming methods, and purposes. Let's now proceed to the different terminologies commonly used in poultry farming or poultry production. Our first terminology is the hen. So the hen is 
A matured female chicken, generally above 20 weeks of age. It is also defined as the female of any bird, especially the adult female of the domestic fowl. We also have the cock. So this is a matured male chicken above 20 weeks of age. It is also defined as the adult male of the domestic chicken, gallus gallus, or it is also known as the rooster. Another is the pullet. So pullet is a young female chicken from 9 to 20 weeks of age. It is also defined as a young hen that is under 1 year of age and has not started laying eggs yet. We also have the cockerel. So this is a young male chicken from 5 to 8 months of age. It is a young domestic cock, usually less than a year old. The chick is defined as a domestic chicken, especially newly hatched. It is also defined as the young of any bird or a young of one poultry from day old to seven or eight weeks of age. We also have the old chick. So a hatched out chick is called as day old chick up to 24 hours. We also have the grower. So in poultry, a grower is a young chick of the uh, of ninth to twentieth week of age of either sex. The period after brooding till sexual maturity is referred to as the growing period, and this usually lasts between nine and eighteen weeks of age. We also have the breed. So the breed is a group of birds within a species having similar characteristics and can produce offspring with similar characteristics. We also have the brood. So a group of chicks of same age raised in one batch is called as a brood. We also have brooding. So brooding is defined as the process of rearing the young chick from day old stage to four to six weeks of age, during which heat is to be provided to keep them warm. Brooding is a period immediately after the hatch when special care and attention is given to chicks to support their health and survival. A recently hatched chick has not yet developed their own mechanism to regulate its own body temperature, hence it cannot maintain its body temperature properly for the first weeks. Therefore, if the chicks are not provided with extra heat, the chicks will not take required feeds and water, and this will decrease the growth and improper development of internal organs. That is responsible for digestion, thus the chick will not be able to digest the yolk completely. We also have the term broodiness. So broodiness is a condition in which the hen stops laying and show tendency to sit on the eggs to hatch them. A broody hen is a hen which tends to sit on the egg to hatch them. We also have the brooder. So a brooder is a device for providing artificial heat to the chicks. It is also defined as a metallic or wooden equipment used for artificial brooding of young chicks by supplying the necessary heat. Management of brooder in a brooder house for rearing of the baby chicks is very important. We also have broilers. So broilers are chickens that have especially been raised for meat production. They are the hybrid chicks having rapid growth and attaining about 1.5 kg weight during the period of 6 weeks of age. Another definition of broiler is that a broiler, or sometimes termed as fryer, are immature young chicken of either sex with tender meat, soft, pliable, smooth textured skin, and flexible breastbone cartilage of about six weeks of age. We also have the term capon. So this is a young male bird whose testicles have been removed and usually below eight to ten months of age. This is also defined as a cockerel or rooster that has been castrated or neutered either physically or chemically to improve the quality of its flesh for food and in some countries like Spain, patterned by forced feeding. A layer is an egg-laying female chicken up to one year after starting the laying of eggs.
KGES. So KGES is defined as a system of housing poultry made up of steel and welded wire netting in horizontal, stepped or vertical configuration, usually in two or three tires. So examples of cages are California and the battery cages. So the size of the cages depends on the type of the birds to be housed. So in this figure, this is an example of a California layer cage. We also have here an example of a battery cage for broilers, and this is a fully uh, automatic system. We also have candling. So candling is defined as the process of visual examination of an intact egg against a light emerging through an aperture or opening to determine the interior quality, shell soundness, or stage of embryonic development. We also have cannibalism. Cannibalism is the vice that may occur in chickens of all ages. It is characterized by pecking of the head, feather, vent, and wing due to overcrowding, excess lighting, lack of exercise, and improper balance ratio. This may be overcome by identifying and correcting the faulty management practices or by correcting feed if it is unbalanced and also by debicking. Debicking is the process of cutting one third of the upper beak at 15 days of age for the first time and at 16th week of age for the second time. Other references says that the, the beaking or beak trimming can be done at 5 to 10 days of age. As a result of the beaking, the chicken may not involve in cannibalism and can easily procure, procure the soft food without waste. Two thirds of the beak is removed in a V-shaped structure. The beaking or beak trimming can also be defined as the removal of the sharp upper and the lower mandible tips of the beak. And this is considered to be a widespread management practice designated to reduce the degree of damage inflicted if one bird pecks at the feathers or the skin of another. It can be done through the use of a hot blade technique where a heated guillotine blade at 700 degrees centigrade cuts and cauterizes the big tissue. Big trimming is performed in poultry to reduce cannibalism, aggressive behaviors, and feather pecking, and this is an economic advantage for the producer, but a welfare concern for the animal. We also have culling. So culling is defined as the removal of the unproductive or the undesirable birds from the flock, which, when judged from their physical characteristics, are found to lack the qualities for which they were reared, whether it may be for egg production, table purposes, or for show. We also have the different types of chickens. So even though there are many breeds and varieties of chickens used in farming, they can all be divided into three three types based on purpose. So we have here the layers. So the layers are bred primarily for egg production and these birds usually weigh 1 to 2 kilograms or 2.2 to 4.4 pounds. They are lighter than the chickens bred to produce meat. Because they are smaller, they need less feed to maintain their body weight while laying as many or more eggs than the bigger birds. The layers also are eaten usually after they have been producing eggs for one to one and a half years. Farmers often do not keep the meals of these breeds because it takes too much feed to bring them to a marketable weight. So birds that lay brown eggs are usually a little larger than those that lay white eggs. Another type of uh, chickens based on purpose is the meat chickens. So these are birds 
that grow rapidly and reach marketable size after two to three months. They are sold well before they reach egg laying age. Whether a meat chicken is called a fryer or a roaster depends on its size and age. Meat chickens are usually called broilers. Another type of chickens are the dual purpose type. So these are birds that are raised for eggs and meat. The females of the new improved breeds are kept to lay eggs, while the males are separated and sold for meat as soon as they reach about 15 weeks. The dual purpose hens are sold for meat at the end of the laying time. The country chickens roaming free in most villages of the world are kind of a dual purpose bird. 